Raphael, congratulations on the win. Uh, another dominant performance. Uh, Thank you. Thoughts, thoughts overall on, on the win against a tough guy in Font. Yeah. Um, so I'm a little out of words. I just did a couple couple interviews back there, but um, yeah, it was a uh, it was a tough fight. I was able to implement some of the stuff I've been training. Um, you know, took some good shots, landed some good shots. I was uh, used you know some of my weapons that I that I wanted to use and uh, changed um, some strategy on the fly. So uh, it was a good a good experience. I mean, he has. Very heavy, heavy-handed guy. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm not surprisingly, I mean, I think he's got a couple of knockouts, right? But um, I think it was a good fight. I think it was a good fight. Um, it, it, like, like I said, it, um, it. Um, first of all, hopefully, it will, it will, you know, catapult me to a title shot, which, which is what I want. And I think, I think, even though it was a decision fight, but I was able to, once again showcase what I can do and, and change the strategy on the fly and uh, implement what I wanted to implement in the fight. So I think that's going to help me, you know, toward, toward, towards a, uh, a fight, like a title fight. Is there anything about Rob that surprised you tonight? Yeah, I mean, I noticed his gloves was kind of bigger. <laughs> Heavy-handed guy. I mean, he's uh, landed, landed the kicks. Um, I, I knew his boxing was going to uh, be something that I was going to have to adjust. And I put a lot of emphasis on, on my boxing with my boxing coach from Atlanta, uh, Coach Alain. And, um, yeah, I was able to to, to, you, to utilize a, a little bit of the boxing. That, that was another experience. So I, I think I have a lot to add with this fight <sighs> to my overall game even more. So hopefully it will help me. And, 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 and when the chance – presents itself for, for a title shot, you know, it's gonna, I'm gonna be uh, even more experienced. <laughs> you know what, you know, I might not get all the knockouts there. I might not, you know, you know, kick everybody in 30 seconds and, and but look, the experience is there. Nobody can take that away from me. How frustrated are you that you're not getting these title shots? Here? Yeah, I'm frustrated, yeah, I'm frustrated. Dana White, my boss, he's the one that signs my check. Sean Shelby, you know, my, my boss, the matchmaker. And, and at the end of the day, whatever their decision is, it is what it is. Um, but um, yeah, I, I don't have any, any, right now, I don't have any other interest. At this point in your career, yeah. do you even accept a fight? Like I don't have any interest right now of, of you know, who, who I'm going to fight. My twin brother back there, Freddie, you know, what? I don't have any interest. Right now, I don't. You know, I campaigned for the Dominic fight, Fox completely disregarded my campaign, you know, look, you know, this guy got 15,000 followers. They completely disregard my campaign. Um, so it didn't happen. He's sitting down. So I say, hey, let's go to work, you know. Like, it's not who I am fighting for, you know, he's got to get a fight fighting for money. But it's my job, you know. When we renegotiated the deal, okay, this is the fight that, that we're going to fight, we take the fight, right? So it, that's, that's the, the fight I took. That's a fight. I, it, I, you know, it happened. You know, and 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 as of right now, I don't have any all the interest. You know, I beat Marlon. You know, how many fight? How many knockout this guy? You know, this guy, guy knocked everybody out. You know, I said, yeah, let's fight Marlon. Come a newcomer into the UFC. Say, yeah, let's fight him. You know, I accepted every other fight. And just to refresh, as, as we have got a couple of cameras here, I never never miss weight ever in the Azufa. Ten years. Never miss weight. I never pulled out of a fight in 10 years as Ufa. Never. I signed the dotted line. That's the fight that I'll fight. So, hey, look, that's not what the fight business is, right? It's about selling fights. So let's help, you know, and sell the fight. <laughs> what else can I do, you know, to get a, you know, let's, uh, let's see what happens. After the fight, you were having a moment with Rob. You were talking to him. What did you tell him? Oh, I told him what, what I what I felt. What was what was that? That um, it was a, I was nervous for. I was it was one of the most um, nerve wracking uh, couple uh, two weeks. Uh, I, I told my brother. I said, "Man, I'm kind of nervous, man. This, you know, j just for the overall, um, j just the overall risk, perhaps, right?" Um, I was very nervous for, for this fight, and and. and 
and it, it showed why. You know, guy's a dangerous guy. You know, if, if it lands a shot and it, it's in the right place, it, you know, anybody can go down. And, and I was able to to capitalize and 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 and, and, and come out victorious once again. Is it tough to keep motivating yourself to get in the gym to work for these things? Maybe not getting the respect. If that's yeah, this this you? fight was was kind of hard to to motivate myself. I even um, we raced cars too, so we were saying, "Hey, man, I'm gonna," you know, we we went out like in the middle of training camp. We went to a race and and. And and I sat back and and I talked to my family. I was like, hey, you know, let's, you know, look, don't don't take this fight for granted, not for granted, but don't don't take it easier or or, or don't be um, dismotivated, less motivated. Um, let's, it's your job, right? Keep doing, keep being the professional that you are, and here we are, you know, another victory, and 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 I'm happy about it.